Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Darren Carnell here. One second, I'm having a sip of coffee. Ah, okay, needed that. Hi, um, people who follow me on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, or people who support me, wow, that music's gone loud, shut up. Or the people who support me on Patreon, they all know who I am, they all know what I do. If anyone's watching this video and thinking, who the hell's this guy? I will explain very quickly what I do. If I do a desktop share here, I get sent, this is what I get paid to do full time. I get sent um, action figure heads or statues or resin kits or stuff like that. So this is a Doctor Who figure, Peter Capaldi. Um, and I take stuff like that and turn it into stuff like that. That's the exact same head. I, in this case, I glued the two pieces of the head and the neck together and sculpted some old man bits and repainted the entire thing and just made him look a little bit alive. And that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. Um, I get sent little tiny heads and bring them to life. Okay, right. Now you all know who I am and what I do. Some of my um, commissions, some of the things that I paint, I film and put them on YouTube uh, as short edited, like 10 minute videos that shows the whole process, but sort of really short clips, just bit, 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 bit all the way through. Because I'll spend, I'll do different things in, in between bits and waiting for things to dry and gotta do emails and all the rest of it. But I spend about a week on each head um, and I compress that down for YouTube into like a little 10 minute video so people can see how the thing happened but they don't really know how I did it or why or what painting techniques I was using it's just very quick um, little one or two second clips boom, 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 all the way through people who follow me on patreon they get the entire process from start to finish pretty much every brushstroke. And while I'm recording it, I've got a camera, if I bring this in for a second to show you what I'm talking about, attached to my desk light that I work with, there's a webcam there that points down and that camera films everything that I do. And what I do is if I'm painting a head, let's say I spend, I do 20 videos of me re painting a head from absolute start to finish so when I receive the head and then I'll spray it with primer and paint it all the way through I'll record the entire process and that goes on patreon and while I'm painting I will be explaining into this little microphone here what I'm doing why I'm doing it how I'm doing it and giving people tips and some people learn how to paint by following me some people just pick up the odd tip here or there some people just like listening to my accent <laughs> i have lots of different followers for different reasons but i do the whole process and show people how to do it but there's always been one problem the paints that i use these things they're called mp miniature paints and it's a brand that i buy here in my local art shop in liverpool in the uk and you don't really seem to be able to get them anywhere else. There's one place I've seen on the internet, a website that sells them, but it seems to be quite a small place. And it's a, it's not like just going to Amazon or something. You have to, I had to look and I think you have to give your credit card information over before you buy something. And it's not as simple as just going to Amazon and clicking, oh, there's that one. Um, so most people in the world don't have access to this. And when I'm painting, I will be using all of these colors, all of these paints. And in my tutorial videos, I will be explaining, well, I'm using tanned flesh now. I'm going to put some pale flesh in it with a bit of bright red and some leather brown. And it can be useful 
for people to see how I paint something, but for those who are trying to paint along with me, it's not really any help because they don't have the same paints. And most of you out there will have Vallejo paints or some different brand, but they will be paints that you all have access to because you can buy them on Amazon or wherever. So what I'm going to do, and it's not going to be immediately because I've got a load of commissions that I'm halfway through. I'm going to carry on with these. Um, thanks to a very generous, very kind patron um, who supports me on Patreon, um, I am getting sent a set, a full set of, not a full set, um, a set of the colours that I would use um, of Vallejo paints. Now I noticed that they do about 200 different colours, which for me seems ridiculous, but clearly for people who don't want to mix the colours. Whereas I will take the colour and go, oh, well, I want a bit of brown in that and maybe a bit of grey. Let's put some blue in it as well. And I will change the colours like that. And clearly a lot of people like to have 200 different shades and pick the exact shade that they want to use, which is fine. But for me, I would rather have 10 or 12 colours and make everything out of those 10 or 12 colours. So what's going to happen is I have got those paints on their way to me. And at some point, I don't know when, it's going to be soon. It is going to be soon, but I've got to finish. I keep looking over there because that's where all my commissions are. <laughs> the statues and the heads that I'm painting are over there on my desk. Um, when I've got time, I'm going to take a head and paint it from start to finish using the new Vallejo paints, the ones that all of you have access to because you can buy them on Amazon really easily, really cheap. Uh, and what I'm going to do is film the entire process like I do for Patreon, but I'm going to put it on YouTube so everybody can see it. And it's going to be interesting because I've never used these paints before. So I... I predict there will be a lot of muddling through and me getting things wrong. But that's kind of the point because I'll be learning the same way as the people who follow me and who are trying to learn how to paint by watching me. I'll be learning how do I use these different colours and these different paints to get a realistic human head. And I will do that. And the result at the end of that, hopefully, what I might do is eventually completely transition over to just using those paints because the benefit for you guys who are watching or the people on my patreon is if i say i'm using this particular shade of blue then you can go oh i've got that blue too or you can go onto amazon and click it and buy it for two pound fifty or something and you'll have exactly the same colors that i will have because i've had a lot of people uh, on my Patreon, on, on Facebook, messaging me saying, well, the colours you use, I don't have them. How can I paint the same head? <laughs> what I've actually done for some people is take... I've got postcards that I use for different things. Um, and what I've done for some people is on the back, painted uh, little square samples of the colours that I use so that those people can then maybe match the colours to the paints that they've got on their desk, which is fine, but it's a very long-winded way of doing it. And it takes me time to paint because I have to do like a few layers of individual colors on my postcards. And then I've got to take it to the post office and it's not ideal. Whereas if I can just say, oh, use number 936 pale pink or something. And you can go, yeah, I've got that one. You can do exactly the same thing with exactly the same colors. So that's happening soon. The paints are on their way to me. I should have them in a few days. And what I will do at some point, I will try and squeeze in, in between the commissions that I'm doing, I will record a full series of painting a head, whatever it is. I don't know if it's gonna be one of my commissions or just one of my own. I'll paint something for myself. I'm not sure yet, but I will paint a head from start to finish using the new paints you can all watch along with me. You can laugh at me making all the mistakes that I'm going to make because I will be making mistakes because I don't know these paints. I don't know these colours at all. So it'll be interesting. It might be funny because I'll be just messing up so much. But by the end of it, for one thing, you'll have watched ahead 
be painted in, I don't know, like 20 videos or something. Because it'll be the whole thing. Um, so it might be interesting for people who like watching people paint or p things get made. Um, it'll be interesting for people who just want to see, well, how do you get results like that? You will see it in this series. But you will also hopefully see me at the end able to transition to a set of paints that you all have or have access to. And that's the end result here. So that's coming up. I just wanted to let you know about it. Um, I am in the middle of painting today. I'm in the middle of recording videos. Um, I was editing some video this morning for a series that I'm going to be putting up on YouTube. Little edited down 10 minute one again. Doing another one of those. I've got a bunch of series that are coming up on Patreon. Um, there's a man with no name statue. In fact, there's his head <laughs> on, on my desk. Here's his body because I'm in the middle of painting it. That's a full series. That video series that I'm recording for Patreon for that is up to now, up to, I think, 31 videos. It's a long series, but there's a lot of detail on a lot of different things. And it's it's fascinating to do and hopefully it's fascinating to watch. I know the guy who's commissioned it has been watching the videos and he loves watching it transform slowly. Um, so that's coming up on Patreon. There's going to be a Biggie Smalls one, which is interesting because it's painting black skin and that's that's a different challenge from painting white skin. So it's, it's a different set of techniques and for me it was interesting to do. There's going to be that Peter Capaldi head that I showed you at the beginning. That's a series that's going on Patreon. And a bunch of different things. There's a Kylo Ren head coming on. There's um, We're finishing Buffy the Vampire Slayer at the moment. We've done Spike. Um, I think there's going to be... Looking over here, I'm trying to think which ones of these are going on Patreon. Oh, there's going to be, interestingly, another Peter Capaldi head. But from a five-inch figure. So the head is about that big. And that's going to be really interesting. Trying to get that level of detail that you saw in those pictures on the, the head that was that big. But in a little tiny pea of a head. It's a tiny thing. So that'll be fun trying to do that with tiny, tiny brushes. So all of these things are coming up on Patreon. And I will be, as always, explaining what I'm doing, why I'm doing them. People ask me questions. People send me pictures of what they do. Some people get sent postcards every month and I do a little doodle, a little drawing or a painting on the back of them um, for each person. And, and that's what Patreon is and that's what's happening on Patreon. If you are just on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, don't worry, I'm still throwing a load of stuff up. <laughs> Can't even speak. I'm still throwing a load of stuff up on all of those. So you're not gonna be missing out. But the people who want to watch things get painted from start to finish with explanations of how and why, Patreon is the place to be. So that's what's coming up. New paints, new experimentation, and hopefully me working with paints in the future that you can all use. So I'm going to put my top hat on for no reason, because I've got a top hat. I wear top hats now, top hats are cool. And I'm going to do some painting and I'm going to do some recording for Patreon. I'm going to do some more with the, the man with no name. Where's he gone? Uh, which way is my hand going? There. That's his head. So that was a bunch of videos showing that one getting done. So I'm going to do more work on him and all the other things. And I'll get back to work. So. This video has been far longer than I wanted it to be because once I start talking, I can't stop. So have a good day, everyone. <laughs> or a good evening or a weekend or wherever you are when you're watching this. Uh, I will see you all soon. Send me messages if you've got any questions about anything. Find me on Facebook and Instagram and I was going to say on YouTube, but if you're watching this, you're probably already on YouTube. Hi, YouTube people. <laughs> Um, and that's it. I'm going. I, I never know how to wind up on videos. I never know how to finish them off. So I'm just going to go and do some work. Bye. <laughs>